Hey, well, Foley's are very, very early data. They were from a monkey study of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. This is the typical preclinical work that companies do before they start human trials. j, &J publishing these data in the journal Nature. Uh, they are being perceived positively. And before the open today, j, &J stock was up 2% on the news. Now it's just about flat. I've been running the data by experts in the field, Angie Rasmussen at Columbia, telling me they do look promising, but, uh, and she says they do look at least uh, like the vaccine works at least as well as Moderna's, if not better. But she says it's really hard to extrapolate results from a few monkeys to billions of humans globally. And put a little more simply, I also talked with Dr. Paul Offit at CHOP, who said, quote, I await phase three human trials. My sly and monkeys exaggerates a little drug development humor there about just how animal data doesn't necessarily translate into human results. So guys, uh, j, j did start human trials earlier this week in the U.S. and the week before in Belgium. Uh, it's on track, if this goes well, to start phase three, that large efficacy study in September. And of course, we know other companies have already started those phase threes in the U.S. already, Moderna and Pfizer this week. But guys, there's another question about if these vaccines work and they get through the approval process and there is enough out there, will Americans take them? And CNBC and Change Research has been polling on this. Exclusive new data this week shows how Americans are looking at this. About 39% uh, in the most recent data say they would definitely get a COVID-19 vaccine, but 19% say definitely not. And guys, those opinions are holding pretty firm over the last two months. So uh, experts say we need 70% to reach so-called herd immunity. Wolf and Sarah.